And the racers are ready, and Missouri S&T is ready. Are we going to go right into picks and bands? Let's see what happens. There's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. We're just waiting. That's the start. And here we go. We are in picks and bands, folks. Let's see. Let's hide blitz because I'm not playing. <laughs> First band coming out from Murray State University. Let's see if Murray State has been doing their scout work here. And they're banned in the Rumble, so maybe Rumble's a pretty big pick for Missouri s and I enjoy watching some Rumble play, but not today. <laughs> Sejuani ban. Oh, again with more targeting against Easy Fox. And there's the Senna ban. Good job from Ray State. They need to lock that out every chance they, they get because it's just not worth it. Out. There's Jarvan again. Everyone really wants to focus on Easy Fox. Uh, we've seen this time and time again. Every matchup so far that Ray State has been in, the target has been to lock out as many of Easy Fox's picks as possible. They know they can't ban out Scraw. Even though Scraw's not here today, um, you, it's impossible to ban out Scraw in in what we've been a, a part of. So, and there's the Kaisa ban coming out from Murray State University, making sure that uh, the easy ADC is not available. Third ban from Missouri S and T. Who do we got going? Trundle. All right, so that's three jungle bans essentially, locking out Easy Fox from some of his top three picks lately. Uh, KG's going to go for the Orn. Not banned, not picked by Missouri S&T. So good top lane pick. Very strong right now. We discussed it a lot last night, especially with, I believe, Sunfire Cape. Uh, Orn gets quite a boost in damage. So as long as you don't feed your rain. Oh! Are they going for the Soraka top strategy, or did they just want to make sure they lock in the support? Not as though Soraka gets banned that much. <laughs> We'll see what the plan is here. It'll depend, too. If we see a more tanky general support show up, they may be going Soraka, Soraka top strategy, which I thought was kind of dead. But, yeah, it looks like they're just picking their bot lane early. So Ezreal, Soraka showing up on the picks for Missouri S&T, making sure that they get the ADC and the support that they want. Easy Fox here. He really has to shuffle through some more choices. He could take the Zen Zhao. Olaf, I highly recommend that. Warwick would have been a good pick because I really like Warwick, so I always recommend picking Warwick. <laughs> and now it's on to Blackwing. Is he going to go with the Vigar? The I would like to see more of his Lissandra play, to be perfectly honest. But he may go with Orianna. Uh, we could see another Echo today. Ooh, he's hovering the Syndra. This is interesting. I do like this energy so far, and I think it's a good comp. <clears throat> I believe Blackwing has played Syndra before in a match. I don't remember how that specific match went, but I think Syndra is a good pick. Now, this is interesting. Are we going to get the Yasuo mid? Because I actually just finished watching them play a warm-up match against the Yasuo mid. Blackwing was shutting it down. So, here's hoping he can shut it down here too. We do want to point out that these matches technically do not count. This is really more of a learning experience for both teams. Uh, at this point in the season, the top teams have already been decided for bracket play and tournament play. And everyone else has already been knocked out. In our conference, there's 120 teams. And... Only three make it. Two or three make it, so. They ban out the Nautilus. Guess they didn't realize KG's in the top lane today. Mordekaiser ban. Pretty good ban. I'm not sure if they're... If Murray State's thinking about flex picks here. And there's the Leona ban. So they banned out... Three of Easy Fox's favorite picks. And two of KG's picks. Um... <clears throat> And the last ban from Murray State is going to lock out. I would ban some junglers, personally. <laughs> Just really make them have to pick a, a bottom tier jungler. Yeah, there you go. Zach's a good man there. He can kind of float around a little bit. Well, with being a 
gelatinous ball and all that that nonsense. <clears throat> There's the Diana pick coming out from uh, Missouri S and T. Could be the jungler. Could be the mid laner. Uh, she did get a jungle buff recently. I believe it's ten point five. That her, Garen, Darius, Zed, Talon, and Mordekaiser actually and Nar got buffed so that they could be considered jungle picks. Pizzeria hovering on the Sivir, a pretty classic ADC pick, is strong if used correctly. So, we'll see how that goes. And the last pick coming out from Devante, the support. I do believe he's Devante. Let me go. Morgana, good solid support pick. Lots of CC. Gonna work really well with uh, the Sivir. They both have a spell shield now, uh, so they can protect each other, I guess. Pretty conservative looking lane, but against an Ezreal, really shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm not a super big fan of Ezreal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going crazy. Who are they gonna pick? Setting on the Karma, and it's the Diana. So let's see how the lanes swippity swap around. Or are they actually going to swap? Is this the actual picks? Is this an Ezreal jungle? I didn't think so. Yep. So they are going Soraka top lane with Jaina support. That's not really what I've heard works, but I haven't really heard that Soraka top is a thing anymore either. So I'm curious to see how this plays out for Missouri S&T. They may just want to try out this comp and see how it goes. Um... I'm feeling a lot better about Murray State's composition right now. They've got a good strong tank. They've got good damage. They've got good protection from a lot of, of magic, which will shut down Janna, shut down Ezreal, shut down Soraka, I think even Diana. Um, but it'll just depend on how well they play in the lanes in the early game, because if that Yasuo starts popping off, he can basically carry the game all by himself, no problem. So we'll see how that goes. We got about uh, three minutes until the match starts. For those of you just tuning in, we will go ahead and play the League of Legends team hype video again. Uh, for those that did not get to see it last night and want to see it again, and those who saw it already this morning and want to see it again. So here we go. Last semester, our time was cut short. I'm not sure, but I think the horn might be uh, But this semester, Morgana's his ult comes down, taking out that Darwin for Renekton flashing in, taking out Scrog, getting a double kill. Looks like he's six and one. He has got a triple kill. We mean business. Flash, we got a kill. Looking for that double kill. Double kill in the top lane. That was an incredible outplay. Murray State, I can feel it. They are so high. We are champions. A beautiful play by Murray State. We are legends. Flashes as a beautiful flash Whoa. right there. For that double kill. For that triple kill. Oh, baby. We are Racer! Are they going for the bait? Yeah! Did Nar get the Karthus? There's a dive on the Malthahar again. And Murray State, Cersei Bubble, shut down the vein. To land another headshot, taken out for another double kill. Karthus kill. KG looks like he is about to drop. There he goes. Quadra kill. Here he goes in hard on Malthahar right now. 4v1 and it's all Nar. Scraw tears up Malzahar, Cersei Bubbles tells up Jarvan. Nar just came out of beast mode, but he's still going in deep. Oh, here we go, big team fight going on. The big Rakan stun, the big Nar dive, the Nocturne dive. Everyone is getting eat up alive by Murray State University. All right, I hope you guys really like that video. Um, one of our other support volunteer staff members <laughs> uh, 
put a lot of effort into getting that put together for us. He also made one for the Overwatch team. So we do have two hype videos. You can see the Overwatch one tomorrow, or if you go check it out on our YouTube channel, that would be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel since that's free. We're really trying to get 100 subscribers. <laughs> there is a little bit of Mountain Dew Amp Fuel game placement. All right, spectator delay is over. We are going into this game. You guys know the drill. The first thing that is first is the skin game. Who is going to win? Both of these teams should have League Unlocked available, so both of them should have access to quite a few skins on quite a few champions. Let's see who picks the better skins. So it looks like Murray State, Oren decided no skin, which seems to be the case for Murray State. They like to leave one person with no skin for some reason. Then we got Broloff, who I love, Star Guardian, Syndra, Snow Snowstorm, Sivir, and Blackthorn Morgana versus Nightbringer, Soraka, Lunar Gardenist, Diana, Blood Moon, Yasuo, Star Guardian, Ezreal, and Star Guardian, Janna. I'm kind of going to give it to... Um, Missouri S and T there because they got some wonderful uh, synergy, and we are in game now. I hope the audio is fixed a little bit. Apparently, it was a little too loud last night. So Murray State is on the blue. Murray S and T. We really need a new overlay, and we will get to that at some point. All right, so direct the camera is guiding our way today as I'm having to do play-by-play -play and shoutcasting at the same time. You'll notice that Murray State is taking a very defensive approach. Uh, Missouri S&T looks to be really kind of uh, more than willing to accept an invade if Murray State wanted to take the chance, but I just don't think they want to. Uh, I think they're going to go with some early vision and make and then go to lanes and just sort of do your standard standard rotations for the gameplay. Um no deep boards from either team really coming into play here and now we just kind of go through go through the motions for a bit, a little bit of the early game laning. So, I will want to point out that Olaf has technically the farm advantage right now um as far as i'm aware diana is a pretty fast clear but olaf is specifically known for his clear ability and his regen capability so yeah he's already finished the blue camp uh diana is rotated or he's already finished his red going up to his blue diana's rotating blue into the gromps which is exactly what you need to be doing a little bit of a poke game going on in the top lane but i don't think orn is too terribly worried about what oh here we go in the bot lane Morgana took a lot of early damage here, but Pizzeria is returning the favor right on the Janna. And uh, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in this bot lane. KG's not down here. Scraw is not down here. And that's who we're used to seeing. KG being in the top lane is not something we're used to seeing. So there could be quite a bit of support coming in from uh, Easy Fox as the jungler. Just trying to make sure the top lane feels comfortable. Uh, I'm sure KG is perfectly fine on the top lane. He is usually a support main. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Yeah, he's going in hard here, and that's what I thought. The Olaf is going to come in and help support the gank. Uh, the bot lane is being pushed out a little bit, and it looks like Soraka is going to get away, which is pretty reasonable because she does um, get away pretty easily. She walks pretty fast. Yasuo going in on Syndra here. Uh, Diana gets her red while Olaf is back in the jungle finishing up. Uh, he's already got his double buff, and he's just going to go ahead and get his gromp. So technically right now, he's actually behind uh, because he went to help with that gank. But it's so early in the game, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> when, again, I do want to point out that Missouri S&T players are diamond. Uh, so they are ranked a little bit higher MMR-wise compared to the Murray State counterparts today. Uh, but we'll see how much that really matters uh, in the fight. Orn's going in on the uh, uh, Soraka again. Olaf's going to come in and throw the slow down. They are going to keep her CC'd. And that is going to be first blood for Murray State University. That's going to go on to KG, which is 
you know, where you want it to go, you want to make him feel comfortable in that lane. The faster you get Orn to level up, the, the tankier he's going to get, and the more he's going to be able to just steamroll the rest of this game. Uh, Murray State uh, hitting level 3 a little late in the bot lane, and they are a little worse for wear as far as resources go. They're low on mana. Uh, Fizzeria barely has any health left. He's going to have to be careful not to get caught in one of those tornadoes. Soraka's going in again. She's uh, not too thrilled about uh, what Orn did to her there just a few moments ago, so she's going to try to get a little revenge back. CS lead is in favor of the Ezreal right now. Ezreal putting in some damage on this Morgana. She's taking a few more hits than she needs to. Uh, they're going to rotate away. And it looks like, yeah, Missouri S&T is positioning exactly for Dragon because Murray State's jungler and top lane are going to farm Soraka once again. That is going to be a second kill on Soraka there. But that means that as long as they keep lane aggression in mid and bot lane, then Diana will be able to get this first Dragon pretty easily. Olaf's rotating down here to help uh, help Blackwing out because Yasuo is doing a number with those wind walls. Got to watch out for the knockups there. There's a knockup on the Morgana. Ezra is going to get a lot of damage in and take down Devante in in the bot lane while Fitzeria is just going to put everything he can. Oh, we're looking for the tick. No, Ezra is going to walk away without dying. Thought he might have been melted there, but it wasn't enough damage yet. Pizzeria really low on health. Gotta watch out for those Jaina Tornadoes now because of one little bit of CC and they can clearly dive this bot lane, no problem. Here comes Diana. That's going to guarantee the dive. The flash comes out from Pizzeria. Diana's going to take a couple of Tyler hits but does get uh, Sivir knocked out and that's going to be first plate uh, to Missouri s &T. They do split it three ways. And luckily, o Olaf is down here now and if there was any sort of Poor movement from him. Missouri s &T. He could probably clean up two of them. But no, they are playing this pretty well. He's rotated in. This is exactly what he needs to do. I don't think Syndra really needed to rotate down. I guess just to the... that That's good. Just to put up some vision. He can definitely t take this dragon solo. No big deal there. But the mid lane is going to need some help soon. Um, almost double CS in favor of Missouri s &T in the mid lane. Uh, two CS lead for Murray State in the top lane. How is so Olaf just got himself really close to back in the being in the CS lead and the first dragon going to Murray State University. I think Missouri wanted that first dragon, but since they got a double kill in the bot lane via the Diana Roam, they were okay letting that go for right now. Putting a lot of damage on this Jaina right now. Um before Ezreal was able to get back into lane, which is a good aggression from Murray State University, but they did not get a gank there. Um that's okay though. Hopefully they're getting them. they've got themselves back in the CS game in the bot lane. Feeling really, really confident in Fitzeria's abilities. Usually we do see him in the top lane, so he does not play a lot of those ADCs. But he does know how to lane, so that level of gameplay should be more than comfortable to him. Gospel going in in the mid lane here. Not going for the dive. Hopefully, I think he was just trying to bait out some of Syndra's abilities to see what she'd do, see if she'd panic. And there was a knockup again from this Jaina, knowing exactly where Mentos was. The Fresh Maker. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. It looks like Mentos. I assume it's maybe like a play on Medios. Oh, Mentos, like because Fizzeria and Mentos. I got it. Yep, I figured that one out. <laughs> It's two and two, one dragon. Here we go, a gank in the mid lane coming out. Olaf is going to put down a ton of damage, a little bit of CC, but he's going to take two tower hits and really not get too much out of it other than burning down. I'm not sure, did they get his flash? They got his, yeah, they did get his flash. Olaf getting double teamed now from the Diana and the Oslo. He's going to come in here and hopefully his Syndra can help. Yeah, using that ability to just knock them both back. They're going to get, oh, and the Diana with that crazy... Telegraph play knowing exactly where he was gonna be using her ability to just swing on over and catch him out That's gonna put Missouri s &T up by one kill great play from the Diana there And they're going in on this bot lane again Mita Mentos almost getting caught out the the spell shields are a flying Morgana's putting down some dot damage Sivir is just doing everything she can to put as much damage out as possible Got to watch out for that mana bar though if you're not careful Siv can really put herself in a bad situation if you do not play conservatively with your mana pool. Doesn't look like Murray State realizes there's a ward there. <laughs> and Mentos just keeps getting caught out in this bush. Let's get some hype in chat for your racers. 
If you're here supporting Missouri S and T, that's awesome too. Get some hype out for them. And it looks like yeah, Missouri S and T is really going to work to push this mid lane in some. Trying to get another plate. They've only got uh, until minute 14 before turret plating falls, which means all that bonus gold is just lost. So any of it that you can get early game is is just going to put you that much more in the lead. And they're already a thousand gold ahead right now with just the one uh, one extra kill. Diana going in on Olaf gets kind of caught out. Uh, and because Ezreal's there, they've got plenty of damage. And Diana's going to be able to take out the Olaf with help from the Ezreal. And Murray State thought maybe they could pick up Jaina as a trade, but she was able to get away as well. So it looks like... The top lane is not having any trouble, but bot lane and the jungle are having a little bit of a situation. So Raka doing everything she can to put some damage on on Orn, but just not a lot you can do against the giant blacksmith of the mountains, I believe he is. Here's what Murray State needs to be doing right now, cleaning up this vision that Missouri s has been putting down. They also could really stand to use some deep vision of their own. But I don't believe Olaf is in any sort of situation to... Yeah, he's a level down right now, so he's not going to be invading the jungle anytime soon. He gets the knock up on the Soraka. She goes way high and uh, drops some auto attacks down, takes her to half health. Just needs to keep dodging. She's going to be able to heal off of her E, I believe it is. So as long as she keeps hitting those, she'll get back up the to max health. Syndra just not wanting to deal with this Yasuo. Pops her. Is that her stopwatch already? Yes. Just so uh, the Yasuo damage doesn't come through and get her. Even though she's under tower, she just knows what happens if those Yasuo crits go off. So, gotta play it safe. Yasuo coming back in again. Gets stunned away by Syndra once again. A little bit more damage comes in. Playing a nice conservative game there for Blackwing. Uh, really love to see that kind of play from him. Uh, early in the season, positioning was somewhat of a problem. Murray State getting some plates of their own finally. Trying to make that gold lead a little bit smaller. Uh, hopefully, you know, moving it slowly into their favor. But they are still down two kills, but they do have that first dragon. Olaf looked like he was going to try to gank the mid lane but Yasuo was already in motion to move away and now Diana and Jaina are clearing out the mid river because second dragon is up Murray State is not positioned right now to counter this I'm not sure if Jaina can take it solo but there's plenty of protection on both sides of the river to make sure that she does not get interrupted from this but here comes uh, Olaf and Syndra and there's an Orin ulti misses the Orin ulti Putting tons of damage on the Soraka. And yeah, uh, Missouri S&T gets second dragon. And that is a Cloud Drake, which makes 10% cooldown reduction. Which is great for them because they do have the Soraka global heal. Allowing them health everywhere. Mentos is caught out once again. And all the damage is going out onto him right now. While Sivir is just trying to do everything she can to slow this bot lane down from s and I'm not sure what Murray State is going to be able to do at this point to help save that support. <laughs> Olaf going in hard. He wants to catch out somebody, and he is not going to catch anybody, and they actually get him. Epic Fighter getting is now on a killing spree after that Olaf kill. He met well, but it just wasn't enough damage, and he didn't have any follow-up. Fizzeria couldn't really jump in. Diana comes out of nowhere, gets Fizzeria, and that's going to get... Almost under the plate for S&T, but they're going to have to back out because they don't have a minion wave here. Oh, but here's one now. How convenient. <laughs> it's as if they planned it. Mentos is available, but with three on the tower, it's not really a safe play to go in at all here. He really needs to back up, and Murray State's just going to have to accept this first tower loss and kind of go some other way. The pings are coming out. Good communication from Murray State University. Letting uh, the mid lane saying Yasuo's not here. Be careful. I don't know where he's at. So that's first tower gold in favor of Missouri s &T, Which puts their gold lead up by 5,000 at this point. That is a quite large gold lead at 13 minutes in. They also have five kills uh, in their favor. So 
it's it's looking really good for them right now. It's looking really bad for the racers. So we've got to find something to do to get these racers back in place. It looked like Diana was gonna go in. They get the but <laughs> Yasuo gets the knockup, and they've got plenty of damage and plenty of levels and abilities and mana and all the things you need, which to lock down a poor mid laner who has no one there at the time. It really didn't look like it was going to be that big. It really didn't look like it was going to be that big a deal until the Oxbow Shriots. So there's the Olaf going in hard again. He really wants to get that uh, Ezreal, but it's not going to happen right now. The, he does. Epic Fighter does take out Olaf. Morgana takes out Diana. And Ezreal then takes out Morgana, which kind of isn't what you want to happen. But getting kills is pretty big. Uh, but giving Morgana a shutdown gold... <laughs> Not your not your best option, but not your worst. I mean, it's better than not getting any. So it is now ten to three in favor of Missouri S and T. Uh, gold lead is six thousand now, uh, and it looks like they are easily going to get. Yeah, Ezreal is going to clear out. Jaina steals the kill away from Ezreal. It looks like, and they're going to get this mid lane turret. Uh, S and T putting on a clinic today, just sort of uh, letting letting Mary State know this is how you play some League of Legends. Just just so you're aware. <laughs> but Olaf did get the Rift Herald and he drops it really, really far back. I think if he hadn't done that, he might have lost it maybe. So they'll use that as like a top lane push while Orn is actually rotating to the bot lane. Um, I'm not sure if they're swapping lanes at all. But <laughs> Yasuo is caught out. There are three on him. He is going to flash to get away. And now... His Jaina and Ezreal are here. Orin looked like he was going for a charge, but maybe he didn't realize there was a wall there. He gets the knockup on the Asuo, which is ironic considering that's all the Asuo likes to do is knock people up. Uh, and there's some more knockup. That tornado allows the Asuo to go in on the Morgana. She pops her stopwatch, and Morgana is going to go down once again. While S&T just keep going. And yeah, Syndra has rotated in the top lane to face the Soraka while... I don't know where everyone else is going to go. <laughs> Murray State trying anything they can right now just to maybe get a better foothold back on this game and try to do some sort of catch up. It's only 16 minutes in, so there is still a chance. But Diana going in on Blackwing once again. Blackwing is going to go down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yasuo is going to go ahead and take this bottom to it. I'm pretty sure even if Sivir had all the damage in the world, being two levels down is not going to be able to help. And yeah, now... S&T is going to go ahead and take this top lane as well. This is some rough, rough, rough time for Murray State University. Olaf trying to position properly for this next dragon. Jane is already there. She spots him out. She knows exactly where he's going because of all the vision. But he does not want to fight it out. Sivir does protect this bot lane turret. Keeping it from going into the hands of S&T's money. Money pouch. Money pocket. <laughs> they are already up. 7,000 gold at this point. Almost 8,000 gold. Um, and they're going to definitely get this dragon. Murray State has no way possible to contest this right now. Not even a really possible counterplay with all the CC uh, in the hands of Missouri s and And yeah, Morgana trying a last-ditch effort. It's just a little too late. They had already put on enough damage to kill it. Let's go, Razors. MSU Clipper. He's a little under the weather, but he is tuned in and watching. Uh, it is Missouri S&T with 14, Murray State with 3. Uh, two tower advantage for Missouri S&T and one dragon over Murray State University. Murray State was looking okay in the first couple of minutes, but um, once the, a big knockup from the Orn onto the Ezreal. Ezreal and Jaina have rotated to mid lane, so now we've got an Olaf Orn mid lane going on here. Morgana, Sivir are staying in the bot lane. Syndra rotated to top, though so really they just wanted to put Orn up against the Oswo, but the Oswo is not here. The Oswo is just going to rotate now. Uh, and they get the Orn. Epic Fighter gets another kill. Olaf is unstoppable. They get another turret. Olaf is low. Diana tries to clean up and take out the Olaf. A lot more damage is coming out from this Ezreal. And uh, maybe I need to take it back. The Oswo is very attractive. But no surprises there that he knocked a lot of people up. 
I'm not sure I can tell that joke on the air, except I already told it. So, anyway. <laughs> Morgana getting caught out again. Had to rotate away into a poor position from the team just to make sure that she doesn't die. And I believe that was the second Rift Herald. Yeah, the second Rift Herald taken by Yasuo from SNT. Dabs. Oof. Don't dab. S&T is going to do a recall. Murray State is just trying to get the map organized in some form or fashion in their favor at this point. They're not doing too awful in the CS game. Sivir is actually ahead of Ezreal, but Ezreal has a 700 gold bounty. Diana has a 200 gold bounty, and Yasuo has a 200 gold bounty. So, you know, none of them have died. Ezreal is 7-0 right now. I didn't even notice that, but he is cleaning house. And Diana, not far behind at 6-1. So this Missouri s &T team not showing any weaknesses whatsoever. Diana just going straight in on Orin while the rest of s &T is going in on Olaf and the bot lane. Morgana has to pop the spell shield. Sivir throws out some of her wonderful weapon abilities to try and slow them down a little bit. And s &T, yeah, all right, we'll just rotate and take this mid tower. So that's four towers now taken by Missouri s &T, and they're just going to keep pushing this mid lane because I'm not sure there's much they can do. And there's that Rift Herald that they just recently took. And yeah, look at all that that HP bar on Diana. Just constantly getting healed up by the Soraka. Orin goes down. Tower goes down. Inhibitor goes down. You really hate to see that. Shelly just charging in on that Inhibitor after it was already dead. That I may have taken some of her HP bar. But there's the first Nexus to it already, for the most part, gone. It does still exist, but it's not going to be anything for Missouri s &T to just burn it real quick. And there it went. They're going to rotate over this other Nexus turret. Murray State is just going to have to completely back off. I don't think they have any way to stop this. Yeah, no. Yasuo is just going to camp Fountain at this point. Keep hit everyone away from uh, Murray State's Fountain except for s &T players so that they win round one in 20 minutes and 34 seconds. 20 to 4. First round goes to Missouri S&T. Hoo-wee. What is Murray State going to do here?